If you could be an animal, what animal would you choose to be? I wonder if any of you chose to be a camel. Do you think a camel would be a good animal to be? Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Perry. Welcome to Journey with Story. Today's story is a story poem about a camel who has a complaint about being a camel. Let's take a journey with The Camel's Complaint by Charles E. Carroll. Canary birds feed on sugar and seed. Parrots have crackers to crunch. And as for the poodles, they tell me the noodles have chickens and cream for their lunch. But there's never a question about my digestion. Anything does for me. Cats, you'd aware, can repose in a chair. Chickens can roost upon rails. Puppies are able to sleep in a stable. And oysters can slumber in pails. But no one supposes a poor camel dozes. Any place does for me. Lambs are enclosed when it's never exposed. Coops are constructed for hens. Kittens are treated to houses well heated. And pigs are protected by pens. But a camel comes handy whenever it's sandy. Anywhere does for me. People would laugh if you rode a giraffe or mounted the back of an ox. It's nobody's habit to ride on a rabbit or try to bestraddle a fox. But as for a camel, he's ridden by families. Any load does for me. A snake is as round as a hole in the ground and weasels are wavy and sleek. And no alligator could ever be straighter than lizards that live in a creek. But a camel's all lumpy and bumpy and humpy. Any shape does for me. Who knew life was so hard for the poor camel? Still, I imagine that some of those other animals he mentions might have a complaint or two about their lot in life. That would make a great writing prompt. You could choose one of these other animals, a snake or an alligator or even a pig or a kitten, and you could write a poem imagining what their complaint might be. Cheerio then. Join me next time for Journey with Story. Story.